Hello, my friends. In this video, I'm going to talk about the layout editor in Android Studio. When you create a new project, Android Studio will create by default two files, activity, main activity.java or .kt, if you are working with uh, Kotlin, and activity underscore, dot, uh, underscore main dot XML. If we click on this document, so you want to be a professional Android app developer, but you don't know where you should start, what things you should learn, you came to the right place. Welcome to our top bestseller Android app development course, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of Android app development. activity underscore main we will find this layout editor so this is the layout editor with android studio layout editor we can build layouts by dragging components onto the screen instead of writing the layout xml by hand don't worry you can still switch view and edit xml with text editor layout editor is one of the companions in android studio that will follow us through the whole journey of app design for a beginner this is one this is one of the places where to start building apps in layout editor you can design screens and add components that you will use later in the code so we have to get used it, to it to start building our apps. With Android Studio Layout Editor, you can add components to the layout using drag and drop, add and change all attributes, properties for components, view and edit constraints for layouts, prepare a responsive design with pre preview, Edit XML code for layout. Let's start diving into the layout editor components and sections. We will fir first, we will start with the palette, which provides a list of components and layouts that you can drag into your layout in the editor. Here you find buttons, text views, spinners, image views, recycler view, image view, scroll view, layouts, widgets, and other containers, and etc. And we will go through the, these components later through this course. The component tree shows the view hierarchy for your layout. Click any item or click an item here to see it selected in the editor. The component tree is important when you have some nested components. The toolbar provides buttons to configure your layout design in the editor and helps you change some layout attributes. In addition, here you can change the size of the the display to check if the constraints work as expected. Here you can find alignments and connection tools. The design and code editors. You can create layouts using, using the design editor or the code editor XML or the split mode, both of them. The design editor displays your layout in a combination of the design and blueprint views. As we see, we have this white to the left, white screen to the left, and the right screen is the blueprint view. The code editor. In the text editor, you can define the visual aspects of components with the XML code. Let's see. How it uh, how it looks select the code and here we have our code editor 
When using a text editor for your XML, you can also see a preview of the screen in real time as you write the code. You can check the layout validation. So if I remove this text view, now our text, uh, our layout will not contain the text. The layout will not contain the layout uh, or the text view anymore. Okay, you see how we update this uh, view. Also, you can use both of these modes and editors, the code and design, if we select the split mode. So I can make here like this. I can open the palette. I can drag and drop some buttons and still write the XML code to them. Hello, my friends. You see how I'm editing the layout, the widgets and using the palette. So I have the two modes of edit, layout editors, the design here and the code here using the split mode. Attributes, the this, this small tab to the right contains the properties of the components in your layout. Most of the time, attributes will describe visual aspects of components, but sometimes they are used to set layout behavior as well and set parameters for tools. If I click on the attributes, then the attributes window will be appearing to me. And now I can see the attributes. So the attributes window is a list of properties you can set for your component. Typical properties are text, hint, ID, background, color, and others. All the aspects of components can be set with the attributes found here. So we have many, uh, many attributes, many sections. I can uh, fold and unfold these inside the, uh, the attributes panel. I can see all attributes here. When you start Using the layout editor, the all attributes section will be hidden in a separate section. All attributes is great. Furthermore, you can use it to search for attributes that you know you uh, you know you want to set but are not a part of commonly used attributes. Also, for searching is this is the, the all attributes I'm talking about all attributes for searching is this is the best way to have your view switch it to all attributes okay so always select all attributes if you are going to uh, to edit and uh, if you are going to add more and more attributes if you have many attributes for your uh, which so you can see how how many attributes we have here so if i select on uh, if i select and click on the text view i can scroll up here to all attributes of this text view you see guys i'm selecting a text view and here all the attributes will uh, will display for me the characteristics that i can change for this text view so I will, I can change the background of this text view. I will click OK. And you see, guys, I have changed the text view background color. If I want to increase the size of it, I can scroll down all the way to see, for, for example, the size, text size here. I can select like uh, for 34 you see how i increased the size of this text view also there are many attributes if i click on it many attributes to edit here inside the all attributes so when using all attributes here 
is uh, it will display for you uh, all the attributes, all the characteristics available to edit for this widget. We have another one is called declared attributes. So the declared attributes is a section which lists attributes specified in the layout file. When you add a value to a new attribute for a component on the layout, this attribute will become a part of this list. In addition, this means that it will be quicker to find all the used attributes. So you can design most parts of the user interface in Android Studio Layout Editor. And this video gives an explanation on quite a few pieces of layout editor and how to use it. Later on in the next videos, we are going to deep dive into these components and we will see uh, these widgets and their attributes in uh, uh, each in a separate video. And in the complex project, we will use many widgets. So this is about the layout editor. I hope you benefit from this video.